This program is brought to you by RHB and the Star. I'm Hani Madhu and you're watching RSB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. In this episode, we will take you to Kelantan Darul Naim where we will see our friends battle it out in science, mathematics and general knowledge. Kelantan, positioned in the northeast of Peninsula Malaysia with the Arabic honorary of Darul Naim bearing its meaning, the blissful abode truly portrays Kelantan and her people right. Smiling faces greets you everywhere you go. So. Do you think our friends over at the Bahagian Technology Pendidikan Kelantan are smiling or otherwise? Let's see. Today we will see students from all over Kelantan representing their schools in two categories. The lower secondary F123 category and the upper secondary F4, F5 category. Each school can send in a maximum of two teams for the challenge. Uh, we arrived here somewhere around 7.30 and we came here with our teacher. Uh, by car because our school is just around the corner. Of course, I'm excited uh, to represent my school in this challenge because uh, this is a really prestigious competition and I'm, I look forward to it actually. Today, my mother will be here to uh, watch me compete and support me. Yes, I'm ready for the challenge. Looks like they're all psyched up and can just feel the energy rising. So, clap there. Let's do this. In waste, Treatment, wastewater treatment, a mixture of aluminum sulfate and calcium hydroxide is used to precipitate suspended dirt particles. This process is known as... The correct answer for question number one is flocculation. Twelve of you getting it right. Only twelve teams out of 56. The sum of the digits in a two-digit number is 12. If 18 is subtracted from the two-digit number, the resultant number has the same digits as the original number, but in reverse order. Your question, what is the original number? And the answer we want here, obviously not B, we're looking for D, 75. Seven teams getting it right. Coffee Maniam wanted to start a fire using sunlight. Which of the following items listed below can best help him to do so? The answer we're looking for is a convex lens. There we go, convex lens. Highest scoring question so far, 22 teams getting it right. A bit of calculation required here. 320 ants can build a nest in 120 days. If 80 of the ants left all of a sudden after completing one quarter of the nest, how long will it take the rest of the ants to complete the nest? And the correct answer we want is 120 days. 13 teams getting it right. C. Kenyat Hitam joined the classical orchestra. He played the largest string instrument. What instrument does he play? And the answer we want is A, the double bass. 24 teams are getting it right. Next question. Winchi Ahmad recently applied for a housing loan and was told by the bank officer that his loan application was successful with an annual interest rate of BLR 0.5%. What is the meaning of BLR? Students here are taking part in Mighty Minds, a challenge brought to you by RHB and the Star. A banking question for you. The answer we want here, BLR is base lending rate. 
30 of you getting it correct. Mr. Plot, a policeman, monitors the speed of motor cars at accident prone areas with radar guns. Radar guns operate based on the reflection of a wave. Which wave does it use? The answer we want for question number three is microwaves. Microwaves. 12 of you getting that correct. There are three baskets. The first basket contains 12 grams of rice flour. The second contains 12 grams of wheat flour. And the third contains 12 grams of corn flour. If I take three from 12 from the first basket, take all except three from the second and half from the last basket, how many grams of flour in total do I have? Time's up. The answer we're looking for here is A, 12 and a half grams, 12 and a half grams. Huh? 14 teams getting that right. In conjunction with his birthday, our young Di Pratuanagon conferred the most senior civilian federal title to Harlem in a grand ceremony. State the title. The answer we want is Tun. No? 15 of you getting it right. Tun is the answer we want. A description of a procedure is given below. Step 1. Take 50 grams of carbohydrate. Add 150 cubic centimeters of water, a little amylase and maltase. Step 2. Add 10 grams of yeast to the contents. Step 3. Leave the mixture for about 1 to 2 days in a cupboard. What is the purpose of the procedure? Okay, the correct answer is C, to produce ethanol. Just produce ethanol. This photo shows a crossbred animal produced through in vitro fertilization. Which of the following best represents the above animal? The answer, we're looking for the GEEP, G-E-E-P, 22, getting it correct. Rust is a common substance that forms on the surface of iron metal. Which of the following substances is the most effective in removing it? And the answer, we're looking for lime there. 45 of you getting it right, best for removing rust. Here's the top 10 list of teams in both categories that made it to the next round. To be honest, we didn't really did anything before the challenge. My team and I prepared by flipping some books, we read some facts and we tried our best to stay calm so that we can figure out what to answer in the competition. My teammates are really cooperative because we uh, know each other well uh, since we are in the same school and we cooperate with each other so that we can actually use each other's uh, advantages in certain aspects uh, to win this challenge. For the F123 category, the teams have to construct a model of a garbage transport system for a house which features a garbage chute that connects the kitchen directly to the main garbage bin at the front gate. Looks like the students are really in their zone, doing their thing. This is exciting. Judges will then evaluate each model and points will be given. Our presentation will then follow after the judging is complete. F4F5 category, the teams have to construct a model of a tall tower with viewing decks with seats that can be raised and lowered vertically and rotated 
360 degrees at any height to enable users to have a panoramic view of the surrounding area. Pretty technical, huh? Judges again will evaluate and give points to the teams. It's time for the oral presentation, guys, followed by the buzzer session. The concept of science that we apply to build this tower is based on Newton's third law of motion. Okay, first of all, it's like an elementary system where we pull this string so that it's there and actually move upwards. So when we pull it, we will actually increase the download force so that the output force can actually lift the deck upwards. Are we ready? Here we go then. Each box represents a letter. <coughs> Unravel the word with the help of these four clues. A country in which the Portuguese language is widely spoken. A country that is famous for its samba dancing. A country in South America. Team C, first of all, what's your answer? Brazil. Brazil is busted. Clue number four is one of the famous cities in Rio de Janeiro. Congratulations, Brazil is the correct answer. I am a very important substance and I'm proud because I am the only one who exists in all three physical states on Earth naturally. Who am I? Water. Team D must be first. Water. Water is the correct answer. Team D has got two points. Correct the following statement. Sea cucumber is the vegetable which is a prized food available in Asian markets. What's wrong about that sentence, that statement there? Team B, what's your answer? Cucumber is a sea vegetable which is a fresh food available in the Asian market. Well, can you give us a sentence? The judge is not quite accepting it, so we pass. Team B, what's your answer? Sea cucumber is a, is an, is a sea creature which is a fresh food available in Asian markets. You said it's a sea what? Sea creature. Can you simplify that? Can you simplify that? Sea creature and an animal. We have a correct answer from where I am. Okay. Sea cucumber is not a vegetable, it's an animal actually. Okay. Mrs. Dodo bought a rare piece of handicraft priced at 1000 won during one of her overseas trips. Where did she buy the handicraft from? TV. Korea. Korea is the correct answer to this question. Not Korea or South Korea? Is it not Korea or South Korea? South, South. The answer on the screen is not all South Korea. All right. Korea. Mrs. Greenwich has an impaired kidney and had to visit the clinic once every week for treatment, which requires the use of a machine that eliminates the waste products in the body. What is the name of this treatment? The name of this treatment? Hemodialysis. Say it nicely. Repeat it. Your teammate. Hemodialysis. Could you put this slide for me? Scrub it. H A E M O D I. We have a correct answer. Congratulations. Hemodialysis. We pronounce hemodialysis. Okay, two points there for team A. Team A. The letters of the alphabet are divided into two groups. One group consists of the letters A, E, I, O, and U. What is the other group called? Team B, you pass in. What's your answer? Consonant. Consonant is the correct answer. Bone marrow, intestines, and brain had a heart to heart conversation. Bone marrow said, I churn out 2.4 million blood cells every second. Intestines said, I refresh my walls every seven days. The brain said, the number of my nerve cells decreases with age. Why do the number of nerve cells decrease? Team E, first of all, what's your answer? Uh, the nerve cells cannot be divided, he said. We have a correct answer to begin with. Two points for Team E. Angry dog is a homo sapiens. 
how many chromosomes? How many chromosomes? Is there any dog here? Okay, team A, first of all, 46. 46, we have a correct answer. <laughs> CP, TP, and TP were playing a game of snakes and ladders. How many squares are there on the board? <laughs> team A, first of all, what's your answer? 100. 100 is the answer we want. Congratulations. So you see, to be a really champion for Kelantan Mighty Wines, you must play snakes and letters or something. Silver Jubilee and Golden Jubilee are phrases that refer to a certain number of years. If two Silver Jubilees are shot by 10 years of a Diamond Jubilee, while two Golden Jubilees are in excess of 40 years of a Diamond Jubilee, how many years does one Diamond Jubilee represent? TV, your answer. 60. 60, here's the correct answer. Did you calculate it or did you calculate it, TC? Okay. The tallest building in the world is situated in Dubai. What's the name of this building? TV, first of all, and your answer. Where's Dubai? I didn't hear that. Can you repeat it loud and clear, please? Where's Khalifa, Dubai? Where's Khalifa? Congratulations, TV. Good work to you. 23 is less than one fifth of a number. So 23 is seven less than one fifth of a number. By how much is two thirds of the number less than 121? A, hey, what's your answer, teammate? 21. 21 is the correct answer. We pass to this mental activity there. The hardest challenge would be the hands-on challenge because that particular challenge uh, required us to think fast and react with the time given so that we need to come up with a good uh, model for the challenge. I think this is a very good um, platform for the students um, to show their creativity and their intellect and a good platform for us as well to realise that we do have this kind of students who are not only excel in their studies but also excel in other areas as well. We've come to the highlight of today's event, the results of RHB The Star Mighty Minds 2011 State Challenge. Okay, here we go, lower secondary. Third place going to SMK Hamza.
my students won a second prize for the lower secondary category. Of course, uh, I'm happy because uh, actually we are not expect to win uh, the top three for this competition. Fortunately, my students managed to get first prize in this competition. I'm very pleased with the result because my students showed their enthusiasm and their efforts um, to get this result, i.e. to win the first place in this competition. And I believe they are very good students and this is a very good exposure for them. Congratulations to the winners! They do really deserve it. We'll be seeing Kelantan's Mightiest Minds real soon in the finals. So guys, I'll see you in the next episode of RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011 as we continue our nationwide search for the Mightiest Minds of Malaysia. I'm Hani Madu, signing off. Bye! This program was brought to you by RHB and the Star.